Okay, you go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, another place. It's lucky for you, Pala has only one hotel still working. See that man? You won't see any more very soon. It's probably the last one out of this country. Full of rich people. Only money and connections can get you out there. Nobody follows the rules anymore. I told him the plane's gone, but they don't believe me. Everyone thinks the big planes are coming back. Who can say anymore? Radio speaking the truth for the truth seekers, and the truth is that your country needs you. Beware the evil APR scorch, a plague has gripped our people. They're not fans of the DJ, maybe his music choices. Who knows? And what about some of the many checkpoint is all the I I mean, I'm Gumzana. Where are you heading? My passenger, driving him to the hotel mm -hmm. in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Ne? On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer, yep. ne? Beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. Troops nowadays. It's okay, they keep to themselves most of the time. Don't let this concern you, just boys letting off steam, right? You remember how you.
Everyone's trying to find a way out of the country. The only fools stay now. <laughs> fools and cab drivers. Are you okay? You don't look so good. You tired? in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. So long.
Mkuna pili. Mpagana chaki. You do first aid before that gets infected. I'm Kankarash, and you're an idiot. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, you know that? So now you run errands for me, and I got some things for you to do. Get out here, take what you need. There's ammunition, medicine, whatever. Hurry up. back in power. There was supposed to be ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work for this big shot Kakumba, local boss for United Front. Everyone I've got who knows us from hole in the ground is out in field fighting the APR. That just leaves you, Aaron, boy. So first thing, you need to get piece of shit automobile back on road. Can you do that, or do you not know us from hole in the ground? Go outside and get the engine running. You know you got malaria, right? So you screw around, you pass out, maybe die. Too bad. God! Open up. some of the garbage. The APR has forward position half kilometer south of here. If something bad happened to shitheads manning that post, I would be a happy guy.
I hear you clean that place out good. Okay, I've got another chore for you. But sick guy like you will be falling down in the middle of it. Go to sleep, get resupplied, and move out in a few hours. You're safe at house for now. APR position south of you. Big place used for chicken fights, you know? I want you to perform reconnaissance. There's observation point marked on map. Go there now. KPR's got a hostage in there. Some foreigner like you. Get in there and bust them out. Finish up your recon if you think it'll help.
Hey, man, let me out. Man. I'm not supposed to be here. Thanks, man. So who are you? You break out of your cell or something? Man, you are way too sick to be out here. I know a guy who can help you. Find me at Mike's and I'll hook you up. Diamonds, only currency for shit around here. Don't take paper money from nobody. I wouldn't use it for toilet paper. You do work for the UFLL, you get paid in stones. It's okay. One of my guys, not so smart, delivers case of diamonds here yesterday. Dumb fuck sticks case somewhere in the camp and they get shot in face back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you go outside and find the diamonds, they're all yours. Case has tracker you can home in on with your compass. If you smart guy, you go buy medicine first thing. Don't be screwing around with malaria. You should go have a drink at Mike's bar. Lots of independent contractors there. Get yourself healthy. Come by the front office in town. I'll introduce you to Kakumba. Then we talk. Hey, open door.
It's me, Paul Ferenc. You helped me out, remember? So you still need some pills? No problem. I can help. See the guy over there? He's got plenty. And listen, you really helped me back there. I want to repay the favor. Anytime, okay? Just ask. Because I know how to find things, get things done, stuff like that. Did all the time back in the IDF. Military service, not my thing. And to hell with this war, right? These guys don't even know why they're fighting anymore, if they ever had a reason. I'm serious, man. I got your back. Let's talk a minute. Oh, wait a minute. You're the new guy. Badass. Name's Warren. Hey, you ever need any help out there, give me a call. I'm serious. I'm the guy you want when the shit goes down. Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Well, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you. Assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the top. So you're not one of them. I'm Ruben Oluagembi, what you call a stringer. And you are new, I can tell by the state of your clothes. They are much too clean. You're taking a chance talking to me. I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war. And about them, of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, the Jaka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time he has been there, selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret. But not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The Jakas, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. We'll see if anybody back home even notices. I've been interviewing people for months now. Diplomats, warlords, civilians, wherever I could trick into talking to me. I had some fantastic material. Then the soldiers confiscated my tapes. They said they destroyed them. But maybe not. I don't know. I can't very well go looking for them. I'm no good with a gun, you see. And you need one these days just across the street. You've seen the fighting. The war is getting worse by the minute. It's absurd. Because why are they fighting? For what? You can see the country is destroyed. The people, the diamonds, the cities. What about the Regizan with the Jackass weapons, no less? It is going to end badly. And I'm afraid I'll be here to see it. I'm a bit of a robber neck, I suppose. Listen, if you find any more of my tapes, please bring them back to me. Yeah, the bar. I need them for my story. I'll tell you right now, I can't pay you. I can only offer you my worthless friendship in return. <laughs> 